right. <laughs> um, so we're gonna ask a couple of personal questions. <laughs> gonna dig deep. We're gonna get into the ribs, spread things oh, apart, goodness. go right to the heart. All right. Okay. Number one. What's All number right. one? What is something, Kwaku, you always wanted to do as a child but never, ever got to do it? If it was kiss Jennifer Garner. Hey. Jennifer Garner? The cheek. Oh. Um, you know... Something as a kid you wanted to do. Honestly, I had a pretty free childhood. We didn't have a lot of rules. In our, the, only, the biggest rule we had in our family was, like, don't eat meat. So you're we saying didn't you, really have a curve as a child, like you, you accomplished everything you wanted to. I did most of the things I wanted to do as a child. So as, I, a, as a child, you were never like, man, I would love to be an astronaut. You never said anything. Oh, when I was a little kid, I wanted to be a lion tamer. Okay, have you done I that? I thought that was a job, Gosh, but it was just not a job. Like, you can't. This, this video is eight minutes long. We just, like, wasted five. Okay. <laughs> If you were in a witness, this is just questions for you, in a witness protection program, what would be your new name and where would you go? My name would be Butts McGee. <laughs> You're going to be fished out immediately. All the assets from the CIA would snipe you from a long, All the long what? range. Assets. I get Butts would be sniped by the assets. <laughs> Quake is not married. Why? I don't know. <laughs> okay, um, all right, no, no, let's ask you. Okay, um, what famous artist, dead or alive, would you want to paint your portrait? Monet. Okay, why? Because my face is too beautiful, we'd have to break it down into impressionistic uh, values so that it would be a little bit less hard to realize how beautiful I am. Oh, see, naturally I thought you just looked impressionistic. <laughs> when I saw you, I was like, wow, I didn't know that they gave a heart to an animal. Totally Warhol joking. Uh, what famous artist, dead or alive, would you want to paint your portrait? Uh, probably not Monet. I would go with Degas. Mm. Yeah, because he like does all of these ballerinas like you know in perfect positions. I'm not a ballerina, but it would be like a cool shot of me like flying through the air. Ian used to do ballet. Yeah, yeah, he did. He did ballet um, with the Philadelphia Ballet Company, and he had to stop because he jumped into the audience and scissor kicked a man in the jaw, and then was sent to jail for ten years. That sounds about right. Who is your first celebrity crush? Michelle Obama. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> I think Michelle. First Obama's celebrity pretty. crush, truly, truly. Sean Johnson in the 2008 Beijing Olympics, um, and with Nastia Lukin as well, both very attractive women, and then moved up to Emma Stone. Mm, Emma Stone's pretty. Yeah. I thought Sean Johnson was the red-headed snowboarder. That's Sean White. Oh. Yeah, it's okay. Flying tomato. All right. Oh, gosh. You can't say that. That's literally his nickname. Oh. Um, so I thought it was a dig at his... Who speaks like that? Jack Nicholson. You can't say that. He calls himself that. Come on, quick. Get with the program. <laughs> the 1940s. I feel like you should always be like chewing a toothpick and flipping a nickel. Let's like, just you know, you just come. Let's come to the carnival, boys. <laughs> Kettle corn and weirdo. telescopes to see the planet Mars. My first celebrity crush um, was Miranda Cosgrove. From oh. iCarly. No, from Drake and Josh. No, no, no. I didn't, I didn't really start watching girls until middle school. And then <laughs> in middle school, I was like, iCarly is so hot. So I fell in love with Miranda Cosgrove. What is one thing you refuse to share? Oh, many things. Mine's a good old slice of pizza from New York City. Oh, I think like internal struggles. <laughs> I'm, I'm not that deep. <laughs> oh, no, no, I guess. No, Just, you answer the question. No, uh... Yeah, no, underwear. Okay. I am um, underwear. Describe the worst haircut you've ever had. I think I had pretty good hair, but there was a time where it was like bowl, and it just looked like I was the, I was trying to be the Beatles. Can't can't try to be the Beatles, you know. No, that's bowl cuts are. Not it wasn't okay. a bowl cut. It was just like Beeb's hair. Beaver I really hair. want to see that a picture of you. Beaver like. hair? Yeah, I'll find it. We'll throw it up. You see, with this picture here of me with dreads. Looked awful. Looked awesome. Terrible. Awesome. I don't know why I thought this was an no. acceptable so look sick. to have. So sick. Um, have you ever pooped your pants? When I was a baby. I pooped my pants when I was a grown man. <laughs> why? <laughs> well, when you're on a mission and you go eat at a member's home and they just give you a lot of food. Mm. Sometimes that food might not be the best for you. And you got about five miles to walk home. Fun fact of a story about food. No, the and question it, is, have you pooped your pants? I'm, I, 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 Answer the question. I, 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 so, Will you release I, 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 your tax returns? <laughs> have you pooped your pants? Answer the question. So, Sister Jordan, Have you pooped? I give up the story. Let's move on. All right, cool. Which would be harder for you to give up, coffee or alcohol? Uh, probably, um... I gave up coffee, but never really drank alcohol, so... For me, it'd probably be alcohol. Hmm. 
imagining myself in an, al- an ulterior good. universe, just, you know. Coffee's delicious. Um, I could see myself like going to like weird tailgates and just getting crazy. But I'm What's not, the I'm not wor- that guy. I'm not that guy. What's the worst job you've ever had? I worked at a restaurant called... <laughs> Wait, you can't just say that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and the restaurant, the management was terrible. They treated their employees awfully. They made me wear, like, dr- dress up fancy every day. They were just unkind. The management... Oh, gosh. What board game do you hate the most? All of them. I hate board games and card games so much. Uh, ticket to ride. All right. Um, if you could get away with a crime, would you? If yes, what would it be? Um, the crime would be distributing wealth to all the really, really poor people so there's no more poverty in the world. Mm. Or overthrowing communist governments so people can have religious freedom and enjoy their lives the way they should. Mine would probably be hmm, taken out. I'm not going to answer this. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever saved someone's life? No. Oh, I have a good story about that. You really saved someone's life from dying? Uh, that's too long. We'll do it in a different right. episode. <laughs> if you could have one superpower, what would it be and why? It would be able to, the ability to grow food wherever I want so we could grow a bunch of food and no one would ever be starving. I'm a lot more selfish. Flight. Oh! <laughs> All right. Have you thrown up in a car? Probably. I have thrown up in a car. In sixth grade specifically, I threw up in a car on the way back from my sister's basketball game. I went, Bleh! it was horrible because I had this bouncy ball and it smelled terrible. It had some awful chemical in it, like triggered. It was a terrible, terrible thing. What was your first CD and when did you get it? Oh, I got a good one. Crash by Dave Matthews Band, early 2000s. My first CD was by the City Harmonic, this really cool Christian alternative rock band. Their music is so good. Have you ever chased down an ice cream truck as an adult? No, no. I'm an adult. Nope. Uh, Get some haagen from Smith's. It's normal. It's fine. Do you think dogs go to heaven? Of course. Uh, some yes. of them. I, no, not the bad ones. <laughs> the bad ones go to heaven. Oh, I think, I think dogs go to heaven. All dogs go to heaven. I think all animals go to heaven. I don't know. I think... I think I'll go to heaven. Dogs go to heaven. <laughs> if a theme song played every time you entered a room, what would it be? Well, <laughs> I'm too sexy for my shirt. Keep going. And probably, you want me to finish the song? I'm too sexy for my shirt, too sexy for my shirt. I'm just too sexy. Mm. Said just like that. Mine would be, um... <laughs> <laughs> the producer's waving us around. What's going on, dude? You want the show to end? We're just we're just chatting here. <laughs> what is what insect do you wish be com- what insect do you wish would completely go extinct? Oh, mosquitoes. Most definitely. They're just so freaking I, annoying. I think we we need butterflies. We need no, no. bees. Which ones go extinct? No, I'm, I'm gonna say you're we, so positive. Get with the negative. No, dude. no, no, I'm saying we need butterflies. We need bees. Mm. Um, we'll take praying mantises and a couple of the cool ones, and the rest can just. Get out of here. Ladybugs will keep them. Oh, I'm all about this question. What skills do you possess that could help you survive a zombie apocalypse? Mm. What skills? What skills do you possess? One, I'm great with a machete. How do you know that? That's disgusting. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I, I would definitely create several Molotov cocktails. And then I also am pretty good with a rifle. So long range shots, just go to the top of the mountain, blow stuff up, kill the zombies, live forever, replenish the earth, restart. This was a very stupid episode. Yes. But none of you wanted to watch it. So that's cool. <laughs> so we made it. <laughs> this is a, no one in the comment section was like, watch, you should do an episode like this, but we did it. Yeah, no one's ever. <laughs> yeah. Subscribe, notifications, Twitter, Instagram. Slide into his DMs, as always. Don't do that. And you're supposed to say Facebook. Yeah, okay, Facebook is also something that we also post things on. And the show, <laughs> we feel like we're losing our minds. <laughs> I declare bankruptcy! I declare bankruptcy! Alright, right here. Michael Scott.